circles so this question here it says a circle p has equation x square plus y square minus 8x minus 16y plus 72 equals zero so to find it says find the coordinates of the center of the circle and its radius so to find the equation of the center of a circle what we have to do is go from the general form to the standard form. So in order to go from general form to standard form, number one, what we have to do is group our x squared or x terms. So where we have, we're gonna write it as x squared minus eight x, then we group our y terms by then saying plus y squared, and then it's gonna be minus 16 y, plus 72 equal to zero. So all we did was group our X terms and our Y terms together. This is what you have to do. You have to do this. After we do this now, we're going to complete the square amongst our X terms. So we know how to complete the square already. So to complete this square, it would become X. Then we have this, so it become X minus four then we'll put a bracket around it, square, put a bracket around it, square, and then subtract four square. All right, in the same manner, we're gonna complete the square right here to have plus, put a bracket, it's gonna be y, half of 16 is eight, so that's minus eight, square. And then of course, we're gonna subtract back eight square. Subtract eight square plus 72, and this is equal to zero. All right, nice. Now all we need to do now is bring over the numbers to one side. So to bring over the numbers to one side, what we're gonna get is X minus four all square plus Y minus eight all square y minus eight all square and then now what you're going to do is look at the numbers we have minus four square and the minus eight square minus four square minus eight square is minus 80 plus 72 that's minus eight this minus eight we're going to bring to the other side and so this works out to be equal to eight all right, so what I did was bring over the minus four square, the minus eight square plus 72 to this side, which is eight. So what does that mean? That means that the center of the circle, so the center of the circle is, the center is the X coordinate this, so that's four, and the Y coordinate is eight. So the center of the circle is four, eight. Then what is the radius? The radius of the circle, the radius is the square root of eight. Always remember it's the square root of the number here. So the radius is the square root of eight. That's part one. Nice and easy, soft. So we went from general form to standard form so we can find the center of the circle and its radius. Next part says find the distance of the center from the origin in the form k root five. So find the distance of the center from the origin. So we want the distance from the center. So this is the center of the circle. So let's call the distance OC. So the distance is OC. So the length OC, the distance O to C is, remember it's the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus x, it's x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1. So it's going to be x2 is four minus zero square plus, then we're gonna go y2, which is eight 
minus zero square. That would be the distance OC. And so the distance OC works out to be the square root of four square plus eight square. That's the square root of 80. This is the square root of 80, but they didn't want it in this form. They said, find it in this form. We need to write it in the form k root five. So we're gonna break up root 80 as the root of 16 multiplied by the root of five. But the root of 16 is four. So the distance from O to C is four root five. All right, four root five, which is approximately in decimal, you would say four root five is 8.94. This is eight. 0.94, but just to give them in the form that they wanted, it is four root five. So the distance from the origin to the center is four root five. All right, that's that. So this is part two. Part one, this is part two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you on an actual graph what is happening. It's always good when we see it on an actual graph. So let us look at it on an actual graph. So here's a graph, we're gonna sketch the circle. The circle was, let's put in our graph. The circle had center four, this is four, four, eight. That was the center of the circle, four, eight, yeah. And it had a radius of root eight. All right, it had a radius of root eight. Root eight is almost three. This is one, this is two, this is, this is about root eight, let me see. This is approximately root eight. Root eight is, let me check, root eight is 2.8. 2.8 would be, this is two, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8. This is roughly 2.8. So the circle will be roughly like this. All right, so that's the circle. And what we want to find is the distance from the center. Let's label this coordinate. Label the point as C. This is the center of the circle. And let's put in that coordinate. So we want it to we want the distance to be in units. Now let's go tenths. Show the coordinates. All right, this is not necessarily four eight. We want it to be four eight, but I don't want the distance to be like that. I want it to be in tenths. There it is. So this has, this is 4080. This is right here. This is the center C. So this is the coordinate of C. This is the center C. And remember what we wanted to find. We wanted to find the distance from the origin to C. This is what we want. The distance from the origin to C. So let's measure that length. See there, 8.9, that's what we got as well. All right, so this length BC right here, as we can see, the length of BC is 8.9. The length of the line is 8.9, which is what we got from our working 8.9. All right, so again, to find the center of a circle, given the general form, we had to complete the square to write it in its standard form, and to find the distance from the center, to find the distance from the center to the origin, we use length of a line formula. Easy question.